historic Fenway Park in Boston, Massachusetts, Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. It's the Milwaukee Brewers and the Boston Red Sox. First pitch coming your way next. All right, just about ready for baseball. Our starting pitcher in this one, Brian Bayo. Well, he's been a very dependable starter for his club, and what stands out for me is that left-handed hitters have really struggled batting below 200 against him, and it just tells me they have a hard time tracking the baseball. Maybe it's the release point, maybe it's the motion, but just some way, somehow, they've got to figure out a way to pick it up and try to have some success from the left side. The wind and the pitch. Andrew oh. Monasterio now at the plate as he oh, swings what? through strike one. Swing and a miss as he was out oh, front. Two pretty nasty sliders to get this hitter in an 0 2 count. If you're up there at the plate, you gotta look up in the zone and spit on anything that's down. Well, that event seemed to be over as soon as it started. Three pitch strikeout, you've gotta be better at the plate right there, at least to foul something off, extend that at bat. And now it's William Contreras. And that's off the inside edge. And that's ball one. You have to be creative pitching against bad ball hitters. You gotta add some velocity, subtract at times. Just avoiding the heart of the plate isn't always going to be enough. Guys like this can hurt you with pitches you wouldn't expect them to swing at. And there's a rocket into the outfield. So a man aboard now with one away. Man, those are the types of hits where you don't that feel hurt, any huh? vibration in your hands whatsoever. Such a good feeling. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. Ones in the cage you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity. Right on top of it. And at first with one gone, here's Yelich at the dish. Not one close up. with that one, and it's one to know. Bayo, 24 years old, and he was born in the Dominican Republic. Rudder takes off. Ripped to first. Takes it to the bag himself and doubles him off. One hit in the inning, but nothing more than that. And now the Red Sox get their turn. No score. Back inside Fenway Park, and taking the ball for Milwaukee, Freddie Peralta. What do you have on him? Well, he's been a real quality starter for his club. And coming into this one, what stands out for me is that right-handed hitters have really struggled batting below 200 on the year. It seems that they have a hard time picking up his release point and tracking the ball into the zone. So we'll see how right-handers do against him in this one. Bottom of the first. And a batter now, Jaron Duran. In for a strike. 1-1. And a foul ball. The 0 2. Fights it off. You'll see another. The pitch. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Just no. missed. It's a good take. Swings and misses. Pulled the string on the changeup. Very frustrating right there as a speedy potential base runner win. With two strikes, you just struggle to put the ball in play. You don't even have to get a hit at that point. You can help your team just by reaching on an error, but some way you got to find a way to shorten up the swing and put the ball in play next time. Willier Abreu stands in one here, ball. takes no ball strike. one low.
is a 1-1. Tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball. One out, base is empty. Next pitch misses. Ball two. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Spoils that one, and it remains two and two. And that just misses. Good spot there, but didn't get the strike at the knees and doesn't seem too convinced by the call out there on the mound as he tries to get a better sense of the umpire strike zone. Outside, and that is ball four. That is good. The catcher. Connor Wong up next for the Red Sox. Fall off foul. This is the zone, and now it's even one, one and one. Abreu leads off first with one away. Runner on the goal. Pitch is low. Sanchez throws. Too late. Stolen base. I think that still kind of sets the tone, not just for this game, but for the entire series. First inning, game one, so that kind of tells me they're going to be aggressive on offense and try to force the issue whenever they can. That's towards center. Makes the grab, and there's two gone. Batting four. The third baseman. As we check out the lineup for the Boston Red Sox, not the highest team batting average for this squad. They're down towards the bottom of the league in total hits, and Singy, because of that, they don't score a ton. Yeah, and Boog, I'm looking for a little better performance out of them today. I mean, if they're going to be dangerous, if they're going to be able to create scoring opportunities, they're going to have to start making some individual adjustments. A lot of players in this lineup probably aren't happy with how they've hit the ball so far. So today's a chance to get something going. The 1-0. Got it started a little too early. Strike one. one ball. As a one pitcher, strike. you know the runner on second is ready to push things with his speed. A base hit is probably going to be a big run, so you really have to execute on the mound. And that one fouled off. Really going after him here. All fastballs to get ahead in the count. Two outs and one in scoring position. Got him looking. Strike three called and a slider at the knees. A lot of adrenaline, we can see it right there, and sometimes you just got to let it out. That's an outstanding job of taking that, executing, and getting out of a tough inning. Back in Boston, Willie Adamas stands in. You talk about elite defensive players, especially in the middle of the diamond, and this guy is at the top of the list. Fouled off, he was late. Yeah, we go beyond just the you know fielding percentage and you know what it looks like, but the ability to have a range and you know close holes that you know are normally there against an average defender. But this guy is special, and you can see it in his first step quickness. 0-2 now. This to third, Devers jump throw, and they get it, Thomas for the out. That is it. The third base for three. Joseph Ortiz. Joseph Ortiz up now for the Brewers. Line drive. That's a base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one out single. That is it. The catch number 90. Gary Sanchez at the plate. Sanchez. That one hit to right. Abreu under it. That's out number two.
Jackson Chorio will hit next. Move to first. He's safe. That one finds the zone. Going to one. With the go ahead run at first, here at the top of the second. Ball. That one misses, and the count even one and one. Comes ah. up empty, that's strike two. One ball, two strikes. Two outs. Hot shot to first base, and he snags it to end the inning. Brewer strand one. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Back here at Fenway, we head to the bottom of the second. Joe stepping in for Boston. Rob Ref Snyder. Peralta back to work. And that one is inside ball one. Ball, and there's a ball. Making the calls behind the plate in this one is Woody Keller. Yeah, and Woody does a pretty good job back there, Boo. He's got a pretty fair strike zone most of the time. Maybe some inconsistency here or there, but usually he's back there doing a solid job. Next offering is in for a strike. What about some no-nos? Like, you can't call the umpire blue the way you do in Little League or high school, right? <laughs> yeah, even in the minor leagues, you'll learn quickly. Uh, you call the umpire blue. You better learn his name. And uh, that's just part of being a professional player and even a major league player. High fly ball out towards left field. And it hits off the monster. Makes the turn and heads for second. Yelich hurries it back in. And now a runner moves into scoring position as we look for the first run of the ball game. He went up there and got it with two strikes. I'm not going to leave this in the umpire's hands. I'm going to be aggressive. It was in a location where you could get those arms extended that he loves to do. So nice job right there coming back in that at bat. Dom Smith stands in. And it's second. Pitch is in there. 0 and 2. No ball. Two strikes. Drifts inside. Man, oh man, I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close as it gets. Go ahead, run at second. Bottom half of inning number two. That ball. misses the zone. The count down two, two and two. two Left hand batter waits. Ball. That misses. And it's three and two. David Hamilton waiting to bat for the Red Sox. On the ground, Adamas sends it across oh. the first. That's one out the bottom of the second. Yeah, that was a wasted RBI opportunity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Competitor That's like him, he is looking yeah, yeah, yeah. forward to making up for it in his next yeah, at bat. Yeah. Here's a speed threat, David Hamilton. And that's in for a strike. One out and a runner at second. Got 
Not in looking as the fastball runs back over the inside corner. Most guys are very aggressive when they see the stakes out there on the base paths and can't understand why he wasn't ready to swing the bat. You've got to be ready to swing the bat in a situation like that with the go-ahead run in scoring position. And stepping in for Boston, Vaughn Grissom. Close, but called a ball. And one that ball. is no ball strike. one. The pitch. Ball That's two. off the mark. Now 2-0. Oh. Right-hander kicks deals. Oh, and he ah. hit He's just glad he got hit with an off-speed pitch there instead of a fastball. Man, that would have been a lot more if it had the velocity. And next for the Red Sox, Sidney Rafaela. This splits between April and May there. Check swing. Did he go? Yes, he did. No ball. One strike. And that's off the inside edge. And the count is one and one. That's ball for a strike. Man, I'm pretty impressed out there on the mound right now. I mean, these are tough spots where pitchers really got to bear down. Those last two pitches were well executed. Two on, two outs. Ball. Ball right side and foul ball. Still in the second, already at 44 pitches, so some concern there. Foul ball, another 2 2 upcoming. At the belt and fires. In the air, left side. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And the inning is over. Boston strands a pair. We'll move to the third with no score. Back here at Fenway Park. All set for the start of the inning. Up now for Milwaukee, Owen Miller. Now the right-hander ready to go. Still no score. And that one is lifted in the air. Has a beat on it. And makes the grab. And there's one down. Blake Perkins digs in now. Good defender. He's been inconsistent offensively. Ah. Right down to shoot. It's 0-1. Trying to keep good speed off the bases. Here's a high chopper. Smith. And he handles it himself out. for the out. The bat. The, bat. the second base. Andrew. So the lineup flips over. And now it's going to be Andrew Monasterio. Struck out swinging his first time. On the ground, right side, and that's just foul. Two down, nobody on. Line to left, and it one hops the wall. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of the struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game, but all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. Two outs, runner at first. Here's the Brewers' DH, William Contreras. On the ground to third. Devers throws on the first, and that'll do it. Milwaukee leaves one. Still no score.
And we're back. Leading Set off. for the bottom of the Close third. Up. Now here's the Red Sox lead off. Jaron Duran. Feels like it's less common today that you see a guy like this. The speed component, the contact component, but lack of power. He just has to understand that his skill set is unique and he's very valuable for any ball club. If he does that, he'll play a long time in this league. And that's outside. The next offering misses. Two and Two balls. One strike. The wind of the pitch. Viva! And a foul ball. He stays alive. Flew open a little bit with that front shoulder, but was able to slow his back down just enough to make contact with that pitch. Keep the bat alive. The punch out there, and one out now. Well, he hadn't seen that change up the entire bat and took that away pitch. And it's pretty tough to deal with as a hitter. You're up there battling, trying to read and react with two strikes, and then all of a sudden the pitch comes out of nowhere, and it's a good change up. It's just almost impossible to hit it when you haven't seen it. Now it's the right fielder, Willier Abreu. Breaking ball through there for a strike. Base is empty one away here in the last half of the third. Next ah. offering is in for a strike. Well, he's gone ahead with two pitches down in the zone. He has plenty of options right here. He can go off, he can oh. go away, he can add velocity, he can subtract. One down, base is empty. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. One, two. And another ball. And that one is in the dirt. Three and two down. Still just the second batter of the inning, and on the mound, he's already thrown 13 pitches. They got him working hard out there. Ah, he battled for a long time, but it finishes with a strikeout. You can't be mad at yourself after an at bat like that one. Here's the catcher, Connor Wong. He's over one. And there's a foul ball. Two out spaces empty. Two. One, two. Hammer, base hit. So a two out knock keeps the inning alive. Everything came together for him. Yeah. Anytime you really want to drive the other way, you are really good about yeah. what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the ball straight to it. That's great work right there. Man aboard, and here is Devers. Scoreless here, but now he's got to deal with a guy who's got some power. Got to be careful when you're talking about a hitter with this type of slug. And uh, these type of home run totals. Two outs. One that one. one almost got him. Still tied at zero. Last of the third.
Foul ball still a one and two count. Pretty good pitch there to take a rip at. He wants to get his arms extended. He likes the ball away from him a little bit, just not able to square it up. First, Wong back in on a dive. And a ball in two strikes. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A.B. going. The pitch. Ball. Eighth pitch of the at-back coming up. That one just missing inside. And now it's three and two. Rob Ref Snyder on deck for Boston. And a pitch. On the ground to short. Whips it across. And that's the third out. One left for the Red Sox. And we're still knotted at zero. Here in Boston, here's the left fielder, Christian Yelich. And a pitch. That one way outside, 1 0. He's been pitching well, but we'll see what kind of adjustment the hitters make this second time through the order. We'll know if he's got really good stuff in this one or not. Pitches downstairs. Swung on, belted. That's back. Pulls it in on the warning track. Now back up. Willie Adamas getting ready to hit. 0 for 1 so far. Right through there for a strike. Oh, he's been incredibly efficient this one. First pitch strike percentage over 70%. That's well above league one average, more. and that's what's allowed him to pitch well up until this point. Top of the zone for a called strike. Tied up, top half of inning number four. That oh, one just that. misses. Oh, and now it's filled up. Joseph oh, Ortiz in the on deck circle. And that's ball four. It wasn't easy, but he earned that walk after a long at bat. Well, that's a nice job of grinding out that at bat. Saw a lot of pitches and ends up drawing the walk. Very gritty. Making a move to first. Pinch running for Milwaukee. Bryce Durang. One down. Runner at first. Joseph Ortiz now at the plate. And he's already singled in this game. Pickoff move to first. Durang dives back in safely. Runner on the goal. Pitch is high. 
Throw there. Safe. Chris, his wheels were the difference maker on that play. Just got in there. Yeah, with StatCast's help, we see his top speed on this stolen base, and that's a big number. I mean, man, he really made his athleticism work for him on that one. And a pitch. Ball. That one missed. Here comes a pinch. That one the other way. Base hit right field. Headed for the plate. He scores and they have the lead. One nothing. Well, he wasn't afraid to hit with two strikes. I think he choked up a little bit, maybe spread out, but he got the job done right there. Gary Sanchez. Down the middle for a strike. One one. Ortiz leads off first with one away. That's ripped. Base hit. Quick throw back in. Lead runner holds it second with one gone. Back to back singles. Just a solid now swing right out. there. Caught it out line. Ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. So first and second with one gone. Jackson Chorio up now for the Brewers. He's 0 for 1. Yeah, that's in there for strike one. The last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground, but I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone. They'll be pitching for a double play in this spot. Righty delivers. Oh. Check swing. He went too far, and it's a strike. Thank you. Oh, and two now. One, two. Check swing. Now we'll look down to first. No swing. Just held it back there. Runners at first and second with one gone. Two two. Out towards right center field. Rafaela sizes this one up, hauls it in, and there's two away. The first base number six. Owen Miller. So first and second with two outs. Owen Miller up now for the Brewers. He's someone that you might not describe as having elite level speed, but he can absolutely move, and it is a factor in his game. That's out. And delivers outside. Well, this guy's definitely a plus runner, but what I love about him is that he goes all out every single time, never takes a break. It's guys like that, even though they don't have the elite speed, the fact that they're consistent with it, they make moves on the base ball. paths. And another ball. First and second, two down. And fouled off. Yeah. And that one's a little bit low. And the count is three and one. Blake Perkins in the on-deck circle. Three one, and he couldn't come up with it. 
sets up a really big at bat in this game. These are the moments where everyone in the stadium gets really locked in. Two outs, bases full. Now it's the switch hitting outfielder, Blake Perkins. That one finds the zone, and it's 0-1. There was a high-velocity fastball in the zone. I think a little frustration from walking the previous hitter. He's got good stuff. Pitch inside the zone and trust it. Two outs. Strike two. And a bat like this is almost over as it begins. In this situation, you have no idea what the next pitch is going to be. You just got to hope that you can make contact. The 0-2. Ball one, one there. Base is loaded, two down. That's and that one a little below the knees, two and two. Kicks and fires. That's the third, Devers. They tear the force out. They limit the damage here. So one run in the inning on this base hit. It's now a one nothing ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. So coming into the game now on defense, Bryce Terang. He's in at shortstop. Rob Refsnyder up next for the Red Sox. No left here. Rob Refsnyder. Why to kick the pitch? Ball, Ball one. one, no strikes. One out. -oh. No, chase that ball. time. Looks like he's being a little cautious with him in this at bat after doubling the first time up. Doesn't want to make another mistake. Ball. Next up is down low. Not on this three ball count. Down in the ball game, you've got to be very selective. Take your walk if they'll give it to you. That one oh, misses. Oh. So a lead off walk. Definitely lost the handle during that sequence. Four pitches on the walk. Here, that last one. one. Didn't even threaten the zone. The catcher might want to go talk Not to him. Man. Substitution now at first yeah, base. Yeah. Entering is the pinch runner, Romy Gonzalez. No outs. Runner at first. Now it's Dominic Smith. This might be a steal situation, but that's not your average catcher behind the dish. You have to be careful here. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. Whoa. And that one upstairs. That's a really good job of laying off the 0-2 high fastball. Is going to make that pitcher really have to respect this hitter, even though he's behind in the count. Trying to hold a one-run lead. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. And the righty deals. Bows that off to the left, and we'll do it again. Close there. It's two and two. The pitch. Double play ball to second. Monasterio to second for one. And they get him easily at first. That's a double play. Sometimes double plays get turned so quickly that you don't really get to appreciate all of the finer details and how these guys execute. Right there, really nice footwork, and a good feed to second was the key to pulling it off. David Hamilton up next for the Red Sox. 
And that one clips the corner. No ball. One strike. Looking to get the tying run on base. And right back to the mound. Fires over to first. Play made. That ends the inning. Now into the game, Romy Gonzalez. He'll be out in left field. Number 23. Romy. So the batting order turns over. Andrew Monasterio up now for the Brewers. One for two. Monasterio. As he turns on the rubber and with that good live arm delivers. That one finds the zone. Oh, wow. That's strike one. Well, these Brewers doing a good job of simply getting the bat on the ball in this game, and the numbers back that up. One thing that really stands out to me is how they've only struck out one time. That's good discipline right there. And on top of it, they're producing more than a hit per inning. Grissom pulls that one down, one away. All those no, numbers no, no. mean this but offense is really making really the defense good. work by just the putting Brewers. the ball into play. Anything can happen at that point. Next for the Brewers, William Contreras. That one fouled off. Base is empty one away, and we're at the top of the fifth. On the ground, out to short. Rolls across the diamond. And a couple of quick outs. The left field, number 22, Christian Yelich. Two outs, base is empty. Now it's Christian Yelich. Well, on the mound, very efficient. Able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at bat. Next ah. offering is in for a strike. Two and one. another ball. When you get to this part of the order, yeah, there's some pop there, but more likely there are some base hits. So very important oh. to be patient. Let the pitcher walk you, if he will. Oh, they have had a hard time scoring in this one. The pitcher out there on the mound wants to keep attacking, make sure that they don't get any confidence. Got the back going too soon at strike two. Now, there's a pitch we haven't seen in a while. It's going to be tough on the hitters if he can mix that in whenever he wants. And it's ball four. He missed down low. One of the things about that two-out walk, the base runner over at first base is going to have a very aggressive secondary lead. So ball down the line or into the gap will produce a two-out RBI, and those are the best. That is if you are the offensive side of it. This is Bryce Terang. That's to third. Can't field it cleanly. He decides to hold on to it, and he reaches safely. The third base is number three. Joseph Ortiz. Stepping in, Joseph Ortiz. Picked up an RBI in his last at bat. Still their only run of the game so far. Oh, he gloves it to his knee. The throw, and very nicely done for the out. That was a great job of doing the math. He had the perfect angle. Diving stop completes the play, and that ends the inning. Back here in Boston, bottom of the inning. Now, Vaughn Grissom. The wind of the pitch. Ball, and that that's one's a low. little bit low. Ball one. Activity in the bullpen for the Brewers. Joel Piamps. The hard-throwing righty is up and loose of it. Fall off foul. Swing 
swinging a miss. One and two. One ball. Clearly was sitting on a fastball right there and just ended up out in front of the slider. Hey, you can't fault him for his commitment. Now he's just going to have to battle with two strikes. Gets a piece and stays alive. And the right hander deals. Got him! Now one away. Frustrating end to the at bat for the hitter, and I'm sure that's got to sit on him for a little while. You want to be ready to hit the fastball. Sometimes you can overthink things, and I think that was the case right there. And now Sidane Rafaela. Fastball for a strike. One down, base is empty. <laughs> and that's in the dirt. And the count one and two. Trying to close out a one run lead. And the home team trying to pull it out. The one two. He fouls it off. We'll do it again. Kicks and deals. That one out to right on his way in. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. Two down. Now the designated hitter. Jared. Last out for the Red Sox in this one. Jaron Duran will hit next. Who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts? No, and that's, that's off it. the inside edge. Ball one. Big swing and a miss. One ball, one strike. The 1 1. Now this offense has just been locked down. Almost five full innings of shutout baseball. Peralta is just one strike away. Spoils the two strike pitch and he'll see another. Two down, nobody on. is really easy for some guys. One thing that I can see already, his bat stays in the zone on the play for an extended period of time. And guys like that, they have a high contact rate and they have more barrels because of that bat being on plane. And even when you don't get it great, it's still hit hard enough to dunk something in like that in front of the center fielder. And here comes the Brewers manager to the mound. Pitching change coming. That does it for Freddie Peralta. We'll be back in a minute with a new arm on the mound. Joel Pyamps gets the call from the pen. And we all know about his slider. It's just filthy, man. And one of the better runs in the game, I'd say. Spin yeah. rate's very high. And it just breaks a ton. Now the number two hitter, Willier Abreu. A strikeout and a walk. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Big situation right here. You've got some speed over there at first base. He represents the tying run. Question is, do you send him and get him in the scoring position, or do you let that batter swing and maybe put you ahead? Left-hand hitter waits. There goes the runner. Safe at second, and that was not close. You know, nights like this when it seems harder to score, I like the call to put him in motion and try to steal the base. Ball's not carrying, no home run so far, so trying to manufacture some offense like this may be the way to go. Red Sox with a chance to tie it up. Two. Swings and misses. And one it's ball. one and two. two wow, good luck catching up to that one. Makes 
the catch. Ball game. And the Brewers use two pitchers to combine for the shutout. Well, this one was all about the pitching and defense. Outstanding job of the pitchers, really attacking hitters, trusting what the catcher was putting down, and trusting the players standing behind them to make the plays defensively. Sometimes you want to see a high-scoring game, but sometimes you can appreciate the artistic beauty of what these pitchers did on the mound today. And a 1-0 final score here in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show, Thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chambi. Talk to you soon. The final line score for our ball game tonight for the victorious Brewers. One run on six hits, no errors. They left eight runners on base. For the Red Sox, no runs, three hits, no errors. They left five runners on base. Time of the ball game: two hours and twenty minutes. Thank you for joining us here this evening. We remind you to please. Drive home safely.